This is the Late Report. Well, an East Side Week poll shows that 82% of their readers feel Renton should not be included as part of the East Side. 63% feel it should not be part of Washington State. The Census Bureau job classification study shows Seattle above the national average in the number of aircraft mechanics and below average in explosives workers and elevator operators. This study explains Seattle's below average statistic for exploding elevators. <laughs> Mariners manager Lou Pinella credits the Kingdom for the record uh, <coughs> credits the Kingdom for the record home run pace of the Mariners, saying that the ball jumps better when this place gets some body warmth, which coincidentally is also the new slogan at Deja Vu. <laughs> Harvard entomologist who spoke at the Seattle Arts and Lectures series says that there are about a million ants for every individual human being on Earth. And he went on to say that if each human being expects to keep their ants, they better feed them and take them for walks every day. <laughs> After a two-month contest to name the new baby gorilla at the Woodland Park Zoo, officials have chosen the name Nadiri, which means rare in an African language. Coming in second place, Glenn, which... <laughs> in an African language means Glen. <laughs> uh, Seattle School District survey shows that while fewer teens are carrying weapons than in 1993, more are now smoking marijuana. And on the brighter side, fewer marijuana smokers are being robbed of their stash by students with weapons. <laughs> Scientists say that a recently discovered fault off the Oregon coast could possibly produce a massive earthquake. They also say it could possibly produce a tasty, creamy butter substitute without the fat. But they admit that if they had to guess between the two, they'd have to go with massive earthquake. <laughs> the head of Major League Soccer says that if his league brought a soccer team to Seattle, it would answer, it would be the answer to a community's prayers. He says that research shows that the most common prayer in Seattle is, please God, bring us a sport in which the final score is often one to nothing. <laughs> well, the United States has entered a, a bitter trade war with China, and here with a commentary is the man who united Scotland, William Wallace. And make no mistake about it, this is war. The Chinese can take our software. They can take our movies. They can even take our Michael Bolton CDs. <laughs> but they can never take our freedom! Uh, you know... Uh, <laughs> well, 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 I don't really think that the issue here is... Listen to me, John Keister! They're getting Windows 95 for nothing. And they don't even have to suffer through the months of marketing hype we did. <laughs> right now, there are millions of Chinese listening to pirated Neil Diamond CDs. And they're asking each other, what the hell does he mean when he sings, no one heard it at all, not even the chair? It makes no sense. <laughs> are we going to stand for it? No. Or are we going to fight? Yeah! Yes! If we choose to fight, you may die. But even though they may take our lives, they can never take our freedom! Now, <laughs> William, William, look. No, nobody's... There are over a billion people in China. A billion people buying our music for pennies on the dollar. Imagine one billion copies of... Hootie and the Blowfish playing at the same time. <laughs> I'd sooner be strapped to a piece of wood and have my own intestines ripped out from me. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't right even, in front of me. I couldn't even watch that part. It was because so although they can take our intestines and our Donkey Kong games and even Microsoft Bob, they can never take our freedom. Our freedom! No. Are you with me? Will you fight? Thank you!
uh, William Wallace, uh, the savior of Scotland. <laughs> so finally, uh, Harborview Hospital is building a monorail system to rush patients in from their helicopter pad. It'll also hook up with the original monorail so they can rush patients directly in from the Seattle Center Food Court. <laughs> this is the Light Report. Stay with us. We're coming right back.